let's welcome back again it's mixed from the next creation remember we are looking at the latest updates and everything we've been by the way don't forget we are looking at uh, a load to 5,000 subscribers only your support by the way have you ever thought of something calling overstay blacklist uh, what you call the fines absconding do you know that absconding or what we call the travel ban or blacklist in one country can affect your entire travel in another country by the way did you know that most of the times when we we wish said you what you call it interviews let's say for example you're moving from Qatar and you need to go to Europe your travel history will be easily or is normally accessed by what we call the consult who is going to give you the visa so meaning that if you have a bad travel records you have a ban blacklist somewhere then definitely things are may not going to be good in one way or the other. They may be denying you what you call it, denying you a visa in one way or other. What are we what we want to talk about that is linking us to that today is what you call the new, what you call the new visa or what you call the new UAE visa laws that are enacted actually. We are looking at the UAE enacting what you call the travel ban, the blacklist, the fines, and absconding, which is actually uh, brought about by trying to call a visa overseas. Remember. When you overstay your visa, it's what you call an absconding. You're absconding and your employer, sometimes your employer has a right to file a case against you, especially even in Qatar. Most of you have been in Qatar here, you've heard those things where they're being filed a case against you in what we call the metrash. And you may not know, but that is something we call runaway. We call it uh, for, uh, overstaying. Those are some of the things that really may prompt your employer to 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 what to file a case a case against you of runaway or even absconding, which are very hard case to handle, especially if they go to labor and definitely the consequences of that. You better not invite the consequences of that in one way or the other. So what? Well, let us look at what we call the UAE right now. The UAE, the rules are getting very tough, especially for people on what we call the tourist visas. If things are getting tough. You know, we've seen. The gradual process from the, the last September of uh, 2022, we are seeing the visa things, the visa department, or we are seeing the visa changes in what we call the UAE. New visas have been uh, introduced, and we are looking at yet even other uh, other rules that are being introduced in our visa. And now what we call the, uh, the new, that is what the first actually, we call the tourists. People have been going to the UAE as a tourist because you remember you've been having an extension, you can exit the tourist visa within the UAE, but which was now a scrapped up that for you to exit what you call a visa, you need to go out of the UAE. Even if you use an agent, you need to first go back to your country. You used to, to do that uh, in one way or the other. But now it's what you call the overstaying of a tourist visa and absconding, fines, charges, and even it may lead to blacklist. Yes, we look at absconding, absconding what you call a visa, which will lead you to a case in one way or the other. But we are also looking at something that still you need to understand is the gross period in the UAE. For people who are leaving the UAE, the gross period that is given up, given to you after your visa expires is normally thirty. It's normally thirty days. So meaning after the thirty days, if you don't exit the country by yourself, then you are in what we call an overstay. So, sometime which may not be good in one way or the other. Remember, what is happening that if you abscond or if you have a travel ban from one of, uh, if you have one of, uh, from, for example, from the UAE, it may also uh, in the future going to affect you if you are traveling to Qatar to look for a job, if you are traveling to Oman, if you are traveling to Kuwait, you are trying to Saudi Arabia, Especially if you're try, trying to travel to countries under the Gulf Corporation, it may be uh, very hard for you because all the system or your data data will be portrayed in one way. Unlike where it has been before, that we can do, we do easily. You ban in one UAE, uh, one Arab country or Gulf country, you can easily access and move to another country and you begin work. But after things are not getting that what we call normal and things may be turn out to be something else. We've ever talked about overstay and people will say, uh, Kali Wari, I can do it very fast or I can try to dodge this one. Things may not be good a little bit for you. Remember, what we are looking at the UAE, even the travel agent itself has a right to file what we call an abscond in case in case you overstay your visa. Because remember, 
this travel agent is also protecting uh, its name or protecting its uh, certificate or what you can call the company registration from the UA government to be banned. So meaning that even the travel agents, once they, they try to get for you a visa as a tourist, they will also definitely have to monitor you and even try to, to remind you of not overstaying because it also be affecting them in one way or the other. Remember, when you overstay, you definitely expect a case to be uh, filed against you, which is an absconding case. And remember, when you are talking about an absconding cases, they normally come with the judge and the charges or what you call the fines, depending on what are the judication per the law or what you have at one moment of time. And remember, most of these fees go as far as what you call 5,000, uh, 5,000 dirham, which may be the starting, the starting amount of money. But according to that, we are looking at what will come out as what you call the adjudication uh, at one moment of time. However, and something that you something that you didn't you need to understand in one way or the other is that there are also channels where, for example, uh, a new system has been introduced. If you want to overextend or if you want to to extend your, your tourist visa, what you call on online services, you can still uh, do that at a given amount of what we call the fee repeatedly in one way or the other. And this, for for example, uh, the fee that is extended if you want to extend what you call the visa validity in the UA respect is uh, you, you you have to pay a price of uh, dirham 200 uh, including what you call 100 uh, 100 dirhams for smart services then 50 dirham for application then for what you call the CD uh, the form which is called the CD then uh, you pay 50 dirhams that is automatically uh, the, you do what you call an electronic uh, an electro electronic uh, application however something that i still need to let you know or what i would need to advise is not to overstay because we never know where it's going because i'm telling you your travel history may prevent you or may stop an opportunity for you to go to europe or to go to any other country of your choice in case what you call an opportunity locks you on the door so definitely you need to be very careful in one way where if you are trying this for example you're given and you're supposed to exit please exit before that period such that you can have that uh, travel history or travel records that are not christianized in one way or the other because at the end of it all you may have a great opportunity somewhere and you need to save yourself and remember what you do now will save you later in uh, the time to come. Thank you so much for coming back to channel. I always update you and I always give you that information that you need that will empower you and let you move, move here to avoid some of these three things because you definitely need to share. Remember, it's mix from the next creation. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to put a comment in the comment section and let me what you feel and let me, did you know all about this? Let me know what you want me to talk about and let me know where or what questions I'll get back to you as soon as possible.